ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The 2017 Bahamas Bowl, all history now. The air didn't end exactly the way the UAB Blazers had envisioned with a 41-6 loss to the Ohio Bobcats. But for head coach Bill Clark, it was still a special season. From having our program shut down a couple years ago to to come back this year, and, and really just, you know, I think there was a lot of people that were just, you know, happy that we were back. I know our fans and students and city were, were glad we were back, but... You know, these guys had, had other plans, and, and they wanted to do something special. We talked about making history. They were on the 14 team, and, and they stayed around and believed and just, you know, to see what's happened really coming from, um, as we were talking about earlier, some people maybe picked us, I think, uh, 130th out of 130 teams going in the year. And, and to, to have the great year they've had, to believe like they have, and um, – to get bowl eligible, not only to get bowl eligible, but to, to go undefeated in the conference and, I mean, at home, excuse me, and in, in conference play and, and six wins there. And um, just really to, to believe in the process and, and I think get better as the year went on um, really just says a lot about these guys and really our whole team. While here, UAB and Ohio joined up with the Commonwealth American Football League to put on a youth clinic. CAFL President Tony Maycock himself played college football, and he says there's no need for parents to be skeptical should their son earn such an opportunity. I'm not a big person. Uh, actually, when I was recruited back in 19-something, uh, you know, they came down here. I wasn't wearing a shoulder pads. I wasn't wearing a helmet. Um, but what the coaches saw was my athletic ability, uh, simply because I'd already learned some techniques about contact football, they, they noticed that. And so in seeing that, they sent for me and actually sent for me and my brother. They liked the talent and they um, invited us to play contact football in the United States of America. The Providence Basketball Club's Holiday Classic said to get underway tomorrow and run through Saturday at the Donald Davis Gym. 16 teams expected to take part, divided into four pools. Pool 1, C.I. Gibson, Agape, Anatol Rogers, and South Andres. Pool 2, Jordan Prince William, C.C. Sweeting, Telios, and St. John's. Pool 3, Doris Johnson, SAC, Government High, Aquinas. Pool 4, C.V. Bethel, St. George's, Mount Carmel, and Queens College. First tip tomorrow morning at 10 between Prince Will and Telios. That's followed by C.V. Bethel, Mount Carmel, Doris Johnson, GHS, then C.I. Gibson, Anatol Rogers. The second session starts at 2 p.m. with Agape and South Andres. After that, it's C.C. Sweeting, St. John's, Sac Aquinas, St. George's up against Q.C., the evening session set to begin at 6 p.m. C.I. Gibson plays Agape. Doris Johnson goes up against SAC. C.V. Bethel takes on St. George's. C.C. Sweeting and Prince Will have the nightcap. Still talking hoops in the Providence Basketball Association on break for the holidays. Here's how teams stack up heading into the new year. In Division 1, the John Archer Division, Commonwealth Bank Giants 4-0, PJ Stingers 5-1, Cargo Contractors Pirates 2-2, two two, Rhythm Rebels 1-4, Vitamol Chargers 0-6. In the Vince Ferguson division, JDC Food Shockers 5-1, the Rockets are 4-1, Regulators 3-3, UB Mingos 1-2, then the Island Game Pros are 1-5. Currently, Livingston Munnings from the Rockets leading the way in both points and rebounds at 26 and 17 per game. Miguel Mackey from the Regulators leading with assists and steals at 10 and 5 per game. In Division 2, Godfrey McQuay Division, Breezes High Flyers 4-0, Cargo Contractors Resistance 2-0, Triple K Stampers 2-2, two two. the Elites are 1-4. In the Chuck Mackey Division, Alive Buckets 3-1, the Rockets 1-2, Johns and Trucking 0-2, Eagles Nest 0-3. John Lee Noel from the Stampers currently leading the league in both points and rebounds with 26 and 16 per game. League action picks back up again on January 8th. The Financial Bowling League also on break until the new year. After two weeks of play in the second half, Moonlight Strikers out front 6-0. The Strike Force are 5-1. BTC Nighthawks and Rubus Oil Stars both 3-3, three three, rounding out the top four. The New Providence Volleyball Association hosting some exhibition matches during the holidays while league play is on hold. Zaria Seymour is one of the players taking part. She's currently home on break from UE in Barbados. Playing in the West Indies, the coaching style is different. The, we have different drills and it was easy to adjust to. 
I really just play volleyball inside school right now for the money, for education, and to stay in shape so when I come back here to try my best to get on the senior national team to my country proud. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.